in this video I'm going to show you how you can customize your preferred controller pad to the PC to so that you can be able to play on your emulator. Let's get started. So the very first thing you are going to do is go ahead and plug that controller in and turn it on before launching the emulator. Please do that. Because if you do it uh, the other way around, it might not even recognize your controller. So that's going to be an extra step you do not want to take. So first step, go ahead and plug your controller, turn it on or whatever, make sure it rec your PC recognizes it, and then launch your emulator. Got this little game going on car, uh, called Car Battler Joe. I have never heard of it. I don't care. It's just for demonstration purposes. Let's get into a video. First thing, go to options and go down to joypad, configure, and number one, which usually means port number one, right? So you're going to get this little screen now as you can see up down left right button a b l r th these are the Game Boy advanced uh buttons right on the controller so just click what you will be mapping to up in this case it says flecha arriba again it's in spanish uh that means up arrow no i want to play with my controller so just push up on your d-pad i guess it'll be your d-pad right or whatever other key you want on your controller okay so uh, you're going to want to have your controller turned on. Just click this box right here. And I'm going to push on my D-pad up. I some For some reason, I have to do it twice every key. Now down, down, left. I hit left on the D-pad, right on the D-pad. Button A, I, if you're using a DualShock 4, I recommend you set it to X. You might, sometimes you might want to hit the button twice because it doesn't register for some reason. Uh, button B, I recommend you uh, map it to square. L, of course, L1. R, R1. Select, you want to uh, set it to, I always share, uh, set it to sh the share button. Share, I press share right there. The start, I usually set it to options. Speed now speed is interesting. I usually like to set speed on L2 the L2 trigger. So I hit that uh, That could happen and capture I usually do it on R2 There you go. I had to press it like a couple of times and GS I have no idea what that means. I usually set it to uh, key keyboard Number one numerical one and that should do it you hit now once you have everything mapped and you're satisfied with how it looks you hit OK, and that's basically it. All you have to let's go ahead and give it a try. I'm, there you go. You had to do the the extra step. Remember that you have to enable the joypad, the default joypad uh, number two. I did it on number two because I already have number one mapped, so I wanted you to see the process and everything. So. As soon as you uh, select number two, and you hit start, which you just saw, uh, it should work normally. So let me just begin a new game real quick. Show you. Your name is Joe. Yes, my name is Joe. Enter. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. So I'm hitting the X all the time. So uh, what's this game about? Let's just speed it up, shall we? Oh, look at this. Is this an RPG? Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. What is happening? Oh, what? Oh, okay, so now I'm playing, and yes, the controller works just fine. So let me know down in the comments what you think, or any questions you have. I'm happy to help out. Uh, what do you want to see next on the next video? Anyway, thanks for watching. Until next time. Peace.